Let's play a game. We're going to play by looking at this pond. How many lily pads do you see on the pond? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. There are four lily pads on this pond. Can you count them out loud with me? One, two, three, four. It's important that our counting is nice and steady, like this. One, two, three, four. Let's add some friends. Now there are frogs sitting on the lily pads. Let's play a game with these frogs. We're going to count to four like we did before, but now when we see a frog, we're going to clap our hands, like this. One, two, three, Four. Can you try that with me? Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Now let's look at something different. Hmm. Some of our lily pads don't have frogs on them. We're still going to count them, but we're only going to clap for the lily pads that have frogs on them. Let's figure out when we're going to clap. Look at number one. Does number one have a frog sitting on it? It does. That means we clap for number one. Look at number two. Does number two have a frog sitting on it? There's no frog on number two, so we're not going to clap for number two. What about number three? Does number three have a frog sitting on it? It does, so we're going to clap for number three. Does number four have a frog sitting on it? No, there's no frog on number four, so we're not going to clap for number four. Listen to what it sounds like all put together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Did you hear how we only clapped for the numbers that had a frog sitting on them? Try it with me. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Great job. Let's look at one more group of frogs. Which lily pads have frogs sitting on them? Are there any lily pads that don't have a frog? Let's take a look. Does number one have a frog sitting on it? No, there's no frog on number one, so we won't clap for number one. What about number two? Does number two have a frog sitting on it? Number two has a frog sitting on it, so that means we clap for number two. Look at number three. Is there a frog on number three? Yes, so we clap for number three. And what about number four? Does number four have a frog sitting on it? I see a frog on number four, so we're going to clap for number four. This is what it sounds like all together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Can you try it with me? Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Great job. Now you're ready to practice clapping on your own. For each example, remember to clap when you see a frog and not to clap when you don't see a frog. Don't forget to count nice and evenly. You can find a copy of this page in the description below, or you can have a grown up help you find it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.